<laughs> oh, what you doing here? Oh, I'm dark. No, you say. It is, isn't it? People have got no. Just, what is it? Not what I'm looking for. Consideration? No consideration at all, have they? Here goes something and they're just making a noise. Evening, Yvette. Good evening, evening everybody. Claire, Claire. Kim. Gemma, Victoria. Good evening, Victoria. Kim. Hello, Claire hello, Bear, hello. Everything okay today, Claire Bear. Good evening, Andy. Hi, Stephen. Stephen. Yvette. Hope you're all Amy, yeah, Cliff. Cliff. I'm a man. <laughs> Hello. I am wrapped up tonight. I've got t-shirt, jumper, Janet. heater, Rose. scarf, hat, blanket, everything on. Donna. And, uh, Good evening, yeah, Tracy. So. Good evening, Amy. Sorry, I'm just nosying down that John way. McFarlane. Hello, Hello, John. Janet. Right, Yvonne. It's quite noisy here, guys. It's quite so, noisy. When so we're EVPs doing... might be a bus tonight, well, but we'll see. We'll see, because we'll we might be able to go further round. Yep. So, where are we tonight? Hi, Dawn. Where are we? Donald. Amber. Oh, 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 oh you're coming in. It's all right, we'll hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I'm going to let him start then with oh, his. Are we, start, are we starting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at you. You can uh, start. Right, where are we tonight? Bit of history for you guys. Cholera, As always. cholera reached Sheffield in July 1832 following a national outbreak the previous year. Initially, the victims were buried in local churchyards, but with the rapid spread of the disease, the rising death rate and public anxiety, a more appropriate place of burial was required. In early August, the 12th Duke of Norfolk, one of the town's principal freeholders and local public benefactors, provided a plot of un consecrated land for this purpose. Oh, it's interesting. This it is interesting. It? Opposite the Shrewsbury Hospital, originally founded in 1616 by the 7th Earl of Shrewsbury and relocated in 1827 from the original position behind the, beside the River Sheath because of the risk of flooding. By November 1832, the disease was under control. It had claimed the lives of 402 citizens including John Blake, then Master Cutler. Most of the victims had been hastily buried in unmarked graves on this land, which was originally known as a cholera burial ground. Ooh. It's not it yet, guys. It's not well, it. It's not, not it. It's not, it. It's not, not it. finished. In 1834, the construction began on a monument in a position adjacent to the burial ground and visually prominent from the town and beyond, financed by public and private subscription. The burial ground was closed in 1883 and the monument was struck by lightning in 1990 and the top removed for safety. Rebuilding began in 2005 and was completed in 2006. A clay cobbled mound art installation was erected in 2004 representing the individuals who lost their lives. The stories and myths surrounding spring Heel Jack go back as far as the early 19th century. Its first official media report in a letter to the Sheffield Times in 1808. He was described as being able to leap enormous heights and frighten random passers-by. spring -heel Jack had many different descriptions over the period of the legend. Having bat-like wings or a cape, glowing red eyes or pop-eyed, devil-like, wearing tight, white, oilskin clothing, or dressed as a nobleman. Ooh, so there you go, guys. So we're here tonight. Turn this round so you can see John's face a yeah. little bit better. So we're here tonight to try and find spring Hill Jack. Yeah, and see if there's anybody. The cholera victims. I can't say that word. That's why I said it, because I knew Col you be Cholera. Cholera. Yeah, cholera. 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 I can say it. Woo! Can say it. Woo I can say it. Well, cholera. <laughs> We've been saying that all night now. Just random because it's a colour all night. Evening guys to you coming in who I've missed saying hello to. Yeah, welcome um, everybody that's joined us. You might have to take this a slight second. I'm just going to have to patch it over to John. Well, I'm going to show you. The view two is things. beautiful. Two things. Oh, let me turn this up because it's a bit dark. Oh, wrong way. Two things really. One, where we are. And two, the view of the city from here, which is absolutely amazing. 
This is a monument. It's pretty big. If I go that much further, I'm going to fall over. Can't it's turn my camera. Lit up, but it's not lit it's up normally lit now. up, but it's not lit up. And then the view of the city from here is quite spectacular. To say Sheffield is shitty city. <laughs> so, it's a view of the city, guys. Good evening, Tracy. Definitely walk around monument. So, we'll go for a walk around this monument here. Yeah. So, this is the Cholera Monument. There's a bit of history for you there, guys. Can you see that? There you go. I'll just take you a quick walk around here, down here. Down here is that art installation. I think it was just a 2004, 2006 one. And I'm presuming there's four, so many stones, 442 stones in it. And then there is a gravestone down there. And then this. Is you guys can't really see it. I'm not gonna walk out. So, ooh, nearly John Blake. See, it's normally lit up, but it's not. It's not tonight. Broke. Lights are broke. We'll have a walk round, and then we'll get something started. Seriously, I mean, I came, I came up here earlier just to have a look round. I'll probably have a wander down there in a bit. Yeah, we decided to come have a look earlier, and obviously I looked over that way, but it looks so much nicer at night. All lit up. Welcome everyone joining. So yeah. There's benches for somebody, but I don't know whether. No, that's in memory of a local oh. councillor, former Lord Mayor. Oh. I don't know. So I all guys. have internet problems, so I missed the intro. Oh, sorry, Karen. I'm not going through that lot again. It took me ages. <laughs> Who's the bell? The bell is uh, the Sheffield it's Cathedral. The Sheffield Cathedral. The Sheffield Cathedral. It goes off every 15 minutes. Oh, every 15 minutes? You're joking. Nope. We're going to have to wait till it goes off. Do an EVP right quick before it goes off again, then. Yeah. Aren't we? So. Shall we try some hashtag Paratech Love? I don't know. Hi, guys. Do we try? Oh, it looks like a fake background, doesn't it? You know, on them photos you know, when, when, you, when, when you see Mont News and they pretend they're news readers and they talk rubbish. I look like one of them. Well, we're halfway there, we talk rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try some hashtag paratech love because we don't really give this app much love. Wow, I've unusual. never First off, heard of this place or been here. I know where you are, but I knew none of the history. Really, Claire, do you know, actually, it's quite a nice spot. Um, very dear. That memorial is well tall. It is, it is, it's very tall. Maybe um, one of our resident historians, Cliff or Scotty, uh, can tell us how tall it is. Yeah, don't know if you guys can uh, tell us how tall it is. Yes, we're going to give the Paratech some love. Uh, anyway, Lindsay, how are you today? I'm not too bad, Stephen. Um, Back's just aching slightly, uh, but apart from that, I'm good and getting attacked by moths, which isn't good. Better than bugs. It's okay. This this group of lads down there, <laughs> when we pulled up, they're in cars, but I'm a yeah, thing for my car. Um, so I'm like watching what they're doing. Um, but yeah, 
we'll get them on Facebook anyway if they start walking up path then we can ID them if they damage my car <laughs> chaos. right chaos chaos so gonna be back to front it's gonna be back to front so evening spirits evening I'm Lindsay spirits. I'm John we mean you no harm or disrespect we're just here to communicate with you and find proof of the afterlife this device in John's hands you can mimic the words um, no, well, not mimic. Jayden. You can say the words, and we can communicate with you. That comes out a lot, Jane. It does. Can you think it was about fifteen to twenty feet high? Wow! Thanks, Stephen. Um, is there any spirit here that wishes to communicate? No, it's definitely a lot more than that. I'm six foot. I'll turn it that way. Rosalyn. 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 Do we have a lady named Rosalyn with us? Rosalyn here? It is a public place, It guys. is a public park. And we have got people walking about. So, guarantee somebody will come and say, what you doing? So, yes. Adjective. 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 I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's a type of word and adjective. Oh, fear. fear. We don't fear nothing. No. Um, except moths, you. Yeah, except moths. Moths, moths I do fear. Um, so yeah, so is there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? Can you step you, forward. Can you tell us what happened here, what this monument's for? Hi Paul. Evening Paul. It's got a one. One monument. One monument. There is one monument, but there is also two other Three, two other things, isn't there? Because there's Three. a grave. There's two graves. Two graves. I ain't been to look at them graves yet. All the stones with all the names on. Um, Could you step forward, please? Use this device in my hand. YouTube. 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 No, we're on Facebook. Apparently YouTube's broken. Tell us to go on YouTube. <laughs> it's about 80 feet, John and Lindsay. Thank you, Yvonne. Yeah, yeah. That sounds you more sounds about right. It's definitely more than it's 15. It's very, percent. very tall. Earth. Earth. See, guys, this is where I don't Can like. Can you tell us what city we're in? Can the spirit step forward and tell us what city Bow. we're in? Bow. Bow. That's all that. It's not working. See, this is why I don't like Paratech, because it seems to take ages. Where are you this evening? We are at the Collier. 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 Cholera, cholera, monument. cholera monument in Sheffield. In Sheffield tonight, Paul. Um, there's no point in hiding the fact where we are because, because as soon as you see monument and you see the city behind me, you know exactly where we are. And we've basically got to tell um, you what the monument's for. So, yes. But know. if any of you guys are popping down to say hello to us, please let us know in chat first that you're on your way, so you don't scare me half to death, we'll and I don't batter you with my torch. Um, yeah. Upstairs. So, Upstairs. Oh, sorry, Scotty. What's up? I forgot to put notification in group. I apologise. Um, yeah, is there any spirits here that died from cholera? It's actually quite warm tonight, guys. Family. Guys. guys. Yeah, it's quite warm. I actually love looking at the city behind me. I, I think, think they're all gorgeous. laughing now because they're sat there and saying, nobody type. I know, nobody sat there for ages. we're going to be sat here ages. Chat's broken, chat's broken. <laughs> oh, Facebook's broke. Well, if you don't pop up in a minute, I'm going to pick, and you all know what I'll pick, because it begins with a D. Poor wireless collection. Oh, we're back on. Oh, we're guys, back on. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. We won't freeze again. It's because we've got a doodah attached to his phone to give us Wi-Fi internet. Sorry, Kim. Um, to give us Wi-Fi internet. And sometimes when it's on, it's really good. But then when you're in a good location and it should like, be good, it's rubbish. Like here. Internet should be amazing here because we're like on one of the highest points in Sheffield, overlooking city centre, where you'd think there's a great good signal. And there's no signal at all. Well, there is, well, there but it's is. on his phone. Right, guys, so I'll ask you again then this time. Frozen for me, refresh three times now. <gasps> Keep refreshing, guys, and hopefully it'll back, correct itself. Back, back. What are you asking us to pick? 
We're asking you dead wave. Carol said dead wave, so I'm going to go with dead wave first because that's the first one that come up. We're asking which device you wanted us to use. So we're, we're now going to go on to dead wave. I do apologise, guys, about freezing. Um, can't understand why. Because we're we next are, at city centre on ice, yeah, one of the highest points. Um, surrounded by nothing. There's no trees or oh, anything. Ah, just jump time. Your time travellers. <laughs> Uh, dear, dead waves coming on, guys. Dead waves coming on. You always pick hardest one to set up. He says you always pick hardest one to set up. Pull. It should be back. Yeah, let us know. All okay now. Thanks, Cliff. Turn that um, my fi off. Yeah, we've turned my fi off. So hopefully now we're just running on his own internet, so it should be okay. That's what you wanted, Lindsay. It is Stephen. I did say dead wave before we all got cut off. I did. Yeah, everybody's saying dead wave, dead wave, dead wave, and stamping the hands on the table. Dead wave, dead wave. <laughs> Chill out then. Do you know, I keep hearing things behind me. This is funny. I keep hearing things, but there's nothing behind me but a field and a city. Um, well, there's quite a lot behind but, you then. Um, I, think it's, I think I can hear animals. I think it's just little animals that are uh, buzzing about behind us. But yeah, I am being serious, guys. If anybody comes to join us, please let me know you're on your way. I don't want to attack you on a school. I'll be a mad woman on a school coming for you. Thanks, Paul. It's okay now. Yeah. So, dead wave up. Game ready, guys. Don't forget, ears, please, and tell us all your feelings and everything else. I'm going to pass you that back because my back's arching. Um, and then right. you can pop it on. Soon you guys room. Sit I'll on turn. bench. What, and just put it on you? No, don't put it on me. <coughs> well, now they're just going to look at City. Yeah. We'll turn it back round to Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand up. Right. Is there any spirits here tonight who want to connect? I'm Lindsay. I'm John. <coughs> you need your home or disrespect. We're just here to communicate with you. Okay. And find proof for the afterlife. <coughs> Can you let us know what happened here? <coughs> Can you tell us what this monument stood, stands for? Can you tell us what you died of? Tell me what they hear in chat if they hear anything. His name was John, weren't it? John Blake, yeah. John Blake. Is John Blake with us, please? Would wish to communicate with John Blake. Can you step forward for us and have a communicate with us? But you need a bigger, yeah. higher backrest on your scooter. I do. John, John Blake, are you here? Yeah. We mean you no harm or disrespect. Any of the cholera victims at all? Yeah. Can you tell me how many victims there were? How many people died? Yeah. Take for a walk. I can see you. Ask how many people are buried here. How many people are buried here? Yeah. Not all of the 402. Victims? Uh, four hundred and two. Yeah, four hundred and two. How many of the four hundred and two victims are buried here? Try again. I heard the first number. What? I heard three things come out of it. The first one sounded like a three. The last one sounded like a five. But I couldn't make out what it said in the middle. And it might be dodgy, it were a dodgy five at that. But there is. 
395 victims buried here. You were thinking, I heard three, Scott. I heard a three come out. Didn't you? She's here, look. Claire, you were 30 as well. 30. What year was this monument built in? Seven. That's a seven. It just Can you step forward and tell us your names, please? Yep. Guys, if you want any questions, please pop them into the chat while you're listening. Can you tell us what this monument was built for? Three times four. Ask how many victims were buried here. Right. It's three nine five. You knock that off your screen. Where it says. That's it. John, are you with us? Can you step forward, please? You had a lot to do with this place. Any other spirits that are here? Do you know who Springheel Jack is? Can you tell us about Jack? Jump. Jump. Hey. Seven, one. What does seven and one mean? What do these numbers mean? Is it... You would hate. Is it 17? 71. Or 71? John, it said. John? Is that John Blake? Can you say your name clearly for us so we can hear you say John Blake? John Blake, are you here? One. One, I thought it said hello. Can you tell us what year this monument was built? Twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Uh, Jack. Jack. Jack here. Springheel Jack. Are you going to show yourself tonight? Why do they call you Springheel Jack? Jack, if you're with us, can you tell us how old you are? Wait. See, sometimes it'll say a word, it might say when, and then the next two words that come out will be like a sentence. So listen out for that, guys, if it starts saying sentences. 16 and 1. Is 16 and 1 any relevance? Not I'm aware of. No. Uh, Cliff and Scotty, do we know? 1616 the year was when I think the hospital was originally built that's across the road. Right. Are you telling us about the hospital? Ask if there if there was a master cutler. Go on. Come on then. I'll let you ask. Who is the master cutler? Are you here? What's his name? Sentence. Thank you, Stephen. Oh. Weren't somebody in the twenties, though? Think. Think. Maybe I think it said. Yeah. It's all right. I can hear voices. I thought I could hear footsteps. You got nothing about sixteen and one, Scotty. That's cool.
And there's somebody, yeah. 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 somebody walking out. Six. Can you step forward and tell us your name? Hope it's not Spring Heel Jack. <laughs> Might be called Jack, this gentleman walking out. No, no, it is. But to be honest, it is a public public yeah. footpath and a lot use it to get into town centre. So, uh, yeah. yeah. John? He's gone the other way because he's freaked to death at that colouring for half an hour. I know. I do stop and talk to everybody, don't I? Is Jack here with us? We keep hearing the name Jack and John, but we need more proof. We need more information coming through about yourselves. And there's John. Can hear someone say M. No worries, Emma, just listen out and see if you pick anything else up. Evening, Leslie. Can the spirit step forward, please, and communicate with us? We do know you're buried in this ground, and we do know that you're in unmarked graves. 395, have you? Are you upset because you didn't get a great that the grave stove, the grave heads, wasn't done for you? I know what I meant to say, but my teeth got tongue tied. Your tooth did. Yeah. God. Yeah, God then. Can you tell me what killed the people that are buried in this grounds? I'm gonna have to lean back a bit, guys. I'm going to try and make a sentence. Yes, please, Stephen, that'd be great if you can. It went off when I said that. Really, Emma? Everyone, welcome to our live. Yes, welcome to our live. Can the people who died from cholera, 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 cholera can, you, can the people who died from cholera please step forward to communicate with us? We just want to know that you're all okay. We're at a cholera monument in Sheffield, my lovely. Um, can you step forward and communicate? We don't mean any harm or disrespect. We just want to make sure that you're all okay. Find proof of the afterlife. Is there an afterlife? I've got to Johnny. Heard water. Listen. Were any of these, would any of these been alive when Sheffield floods hit? No. Or no? So it was before it's or before after? Before Sheffield Before floods. Sheffield floods. It were in 1860, some at Sheffield floods. And right. this were 1832. This were 32 years before. Yeah. John Blake, can you step forward and tell us what you did for a living, please? What was your job? What did you do? No. Evening, Wild Bill. What did he? What were his job? Master Cutler. Oh, we were a master. We were Master Cutler. Was you the Master Cutler? Can you say Master Cutler for us so we can hear you coming through, so we know that it's you we're communicating with, please. Big difference in this got 32 years. 32 years. See, I'm good, me. <laughs> Jack. Jack, if you're with us, are you going to show yourself <laughs> to us? Can you show yourself behind us by using okay, colours? Okay, Rebecca, glad you're here. You know what city Boy. we're in? What's this city famous <laughs> for? Mm. That were a good question. Uh, 
You asked him what job he's done. You said no. You asked him what job he's done. You said no. Does it mean he said no? I think so. Can't you tell us what you did, John? Or is it Jack? Is this Jack communicating with us? You're not going to tell us what job you had? Jack, was you a real person? Do people see you when they're walking past here or walking through at night? Do you frighten people? Why do you show yourself as different apparitions? Trent? Are we near Trent? No. I know there's a river, but I don't know what it's called. Chief. Chief. Yes, yes, he said no. Thank you. Yes. I was that cholera was caused by contaminated drinking, drinking water. water. Yeah. What, what caused the outbreak of cholera? What was it down to? Who was the first person that died of cholera? They know what I'm saying. Cholera. Spirits might not though. Spirits, can you tell us the first name of the person to die with this disease when this outbreak hit? Good morning Morn from Singapore, morning, Ada. Good morning. Can you tell us the name of the city that we're in, please? This monument stands overlooking the city. You lived in this city. Can you tell us the name, please? It's just for confirmation. It's just to know that we are talking and communicating with the spirits that have crossed over. John and Jack are the same. Uh, I'm not sure, Amy, on that one. I think our historians would have to... Uh, I don't think so, because I think up. Jack was seen a long, long time before John. Right, so Jack was back a long time before. Well, when you I don't know. said, why do you show your spirits? He said, yes. It's Sheffield, Lindsay. It, I know where it is. <laughs> I should do, or I'd be going mad, John. Bodies were carried away on cot at first, and then literally they went... Through. To local churchyards. You can turn it so <laughs> right if it turns around because your knickers aren't that really. I know. Right. However, there was opposition to both the carts and the use of church for yards for local residents. A hearse was provided and also a special burial ground. Thank you, Claire. Should we try another different app? Yeah. Hold that a minute then. Making me old things. Flashy balls. We'll, we'll put them at bottom of the monument in a I'm bit. I'm going to say. Do you know, actually, guys, it's quite. I got a camera a bit close to my face and I think you saw up my nose. <coughs> I do apologise if I put it that place. Can't hear the spirits very well, though. Do you know what, Rebecca? I don't think they're coming through at no, all I'm on a, this I'm app. Not earning, I'm not um, earning much at all tonight. To be honest, we might, not, we might not. It might be one of them nights where we don't get much come through. Um, because it's just not, I mean, the only sighting that's been seen is of this Jack character. And again, like John says, I think he dates, he dates back way before, uh, anything happened here. And, um, yeah, it might just be one of them locations that people see. They might even see Jack as, what do you call them apparitions when it's just one of them things that reoccurs? Uh, when it's like a reoccurring thing, what's it called? Uh, stone tape, too, that, um, residual. Yeah, like a, it could be a residual ener energy, uh, energy. The first claim sighting of Jack was in 1837. Scott is caught. Were it 1808 or 1808? 18... 1808, I think it was first written in the Sheffield Times. But I might be wrong, let me have a look. So five years after John died. Really? Hang on. You can't see. 
He's trying to read in the dark. Jack the Kipper. <laughs> you know, because I'm laughing and reading this out. You know, if he comes and spooks, man, you do know I will come and get you, John and Rebecca, for making me say Jack the Kipper. No, it's Spring Hilled Jack. Jack the Ripper is London. <laughs> First official media report in a letter to the Sheffield Times in 1808. 1808's got it first original time, I think. Um, that was the first time he had ever been mentioned. Now, whether that's the one in Sheffield, because there is others. Sightings of him. Mm. Has anybody else heard of this Jack character? John, when you said Shrewsbury, I thought you was where I used to live in South Wales. No, it's just Shrewsbury Hospital, it was... The name of the hospital. hospital. Just across the road, I think it was, you know. It was. You're making him get his bits of paper out, guys. It's in Sheffield, but it was founded by the 7th Earl of Shrewsbury. But the hospital's in Sheffield, so they called it Shrewsbury Hospital after him. Here you go. Right. I've got to pass it. I can't hold it. It's hurting me back, darling. I can help spirit box. Is there any spirits here that wish to communicate? I'm, I'm Lindsay. I'm John. I mean, you know how more disrespect. I am I going to think I like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you hear anything coming through, guys, please pop it into chat. Hold it above it. Okay. Is John with oh. us? John Blake. Can, can you step forward and tell us what you did for a living or what you was otherwise known as? Can you tell us how many people are buried on these grounds? Paul Stephen. Is there any spirits wishing to communicate communicate with us here, please? How do I protect myself? Meditation, prayers, and protecting them. Uh, I ain't done with I've done with meditation. I ain't done with prayer. Never heard of Jack only Jack the Ripper. <laughs> No, Spring Hill Jack's definitely a thing. Can you say Spring Hill Jack for us into this device? In fact, it's going off subject. But if any of you guys ever saw a series called Penny Dreadful, Spring Hill Jack was made out to be a hero in that. Is he really? Confirmed sign of Spring Hill Jack, 1837. London, although it's speculated that he was in action for some 20 years earlier. Wow. Yeah, so I think Scotty said 1837. That was the one in London, yeah. Yeah. Please, spirits, if you're with us, can you communicate? I'm Lindsay. I'm John. We've told you our names. Can you tell us yours? Yes, Scotty. Many people have heard of Spring Hill Jack, the fire breathing, leaping bug, man, terrorised London airports of Green Victoria's long reign. Jack has rightly taken his. Well, it's long side Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper, Sweeney Todd, and the best known Victorian bogeyman. Wow! If I'd have known he were a bogeyman, I'd have stayed in car. Jack! Are you a legend? Is you a real person? And did, did they turn you in to a legend that people see all the time? So, uh, story of my... You heard save me, Amy? Who needs saving? We need to know your name. Can you step forward and tell us why you need to be saved? Um, 
Do you need a prayer to be said? I think it's like somebody that they've seen their, in their country that Save me, Leslie Ann. Can the person that's saying save me, can you tell us what your name is, please, so we can try and help you? Let's program. Today. You know what we're going to do? We might just a little walk yeah. round this uh, wood. Yeah, we're going to have a walk round, so I'll turn you around, guys. Leap for spirit box on for now. We have no idea how far this goes down. So Jack, we're gonna walk down this path now. Yeah it was it was you're right Scotty. The park ghost. Are you here? Are you going to jump out on us and scare us? He was known as the park ghost and then spring Hill Jack. You were? You were? You were? You're buried, or your graves underneath the ground here. Well, if you, you, if you said yeah, I could, and you were answering, are you going to jump out on us and do it? Jump out on us, scare us, make us jump. I will keep your head in. It doesn't hurt anybody. Think it's a nurse, she's with you, following you. Is there a nurse here that's following us? Did you help the people that had got cholera? You following us down here? Takes us out bottom, that. Oh, it doesn't. It's the fence. Yeah, but I think it does take you out the bottom. So, right, we'll have a little walk there. Can you tell us your name? We need to know your name so we can communicate with you. Area called? How many people died in the cholera outbreak in Sheffield? Mm. It's all right. We can turn around and come back up. Straight forward. You want us to go straight forward? We are. What's what's 
What's down here, if we do go straight forward, is that where you're going to communicate with us? Night, Wild Bill. Well, you used to be on this land before. Before this monument was here, what was on here? Can I go back that way? I don't think I'll get up that way. What's up to you? Just don't want to go any still. It's ticking nice and steady. He's looking too good, he'll turn back round. Yeah. You had Edwardian. Okay. What about Edwardian? What was he in Edwardian time? Great box to get off then. We have seen some of George, Karen. Is there a gentleman named George here? George, step forward and communicate with us. You're one of the victims of the cholera outbreak. And push the aerial down slightly. And it's gone. House there, look. Yeah, this house has been housed all the oh, way down. Okay. There's a lot of music coming through this tonight. Turn that off for a minute then. Alright. You got bag? Yeah. You want to stop on this bench here a minute? Yeah, we'll Sorry, I've got it's in my pocket anyway. Um, Turn it back round a minute. Can you hold that a minute while I set this up? Yes. What do you guys think about where we are? Are you sensing anything? I know Karen's sensing a George, but uh, are you sensing any anything else? What are we doing, EVP? Might as well while we're here. It's a bit quieter here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All I can use music, yes. Evening, Rose. Right. And spirit box for a lot of music coming through. Right, EVP. Right. EVP session one, Colorado Monument. Good evening spirits, my name's John. I'm Lindsay. I mean no harm or disrespect, we're just here to find proof of the afterlife and communicate with you. Can you step forward and tell me your name? John Blake, are you with us? If you're here John, what was your occupation? Are you affecting people in our chat that are watching? Who is the person known as spring Jack? Or the park ghost? Can you tell us what you died from?
How many people died in the cholera outbreak in Sheffield in 1834? 32. Feel like a bush crackling then behind you, so uh, stop it there. Good evening, good evening. Cliff, are you okay, my lovely? Evening, Sam. I saw your comment, Cliff, but I couldn't read it out. Um, are you feeling okay, my lovely? Hi, Jeff. It's just listening back to EVP to see whether we've captured anything. Be a miracle if we have, because we never, our EVPs never work. Well, not never work, we just never catch, seem to capture anything. Cliff, do you think that you've been affected from what, where we are, from this place? That's, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, that's good, Cliff, that's good. Don't know if you can hear them bells going off in the background, guys. They're every 15 minutes. John, where did you find that there was 395? Where is there? Was it on the info plaques? Yeah, it's on information on plaque. Um, I'll, uh, upload, I'll upload the pictures that John took earlier. and um, Or as we're walking back out, we'll show you a plaque. So, anything, guys, with this place? Yeah. No, we weren't. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Um, yeah, it's not a very big place this, you've got like this small wooded area where we are um, and then I think, I, I, I Sam, but I think then once we start going back out of these woods again I think we're just going to come back to the monument, um, we will try to flash your balls on monument and see if there's anything else we can uh, do, has anybody seen an apparition? Has anybody felt like somebody was we watching done. them depressed? What haven't we done? What haven't we done? Obvious. Hey, it's my fault, guys. Not organised. Guys, fam alarm. Ovulus has just gone on, so it'll probably spit a few words out to warm up with. Keeps kicking me off. Oh, sorry, Amy. Um, music. Those July. That three words it spits out. John, can I ask you if you can get Jack? Try, as he is known as Jack the Ripper, Jersey Devil. London monster. No, it's not Jack the Ripper. It's not Jack the Ripper. We know he's not Jack the Ripper. Um, we're going to try this one. Right, we're going to try a, a different, recorder. different recorder. This one is the high, high frequency, high frequency well, one, this one. High Beca quality yeah. one, set at high quality, HD, whatever. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. Oh, it's there. Science has just come through. Right, EVP's about to start, so I'll shut up. UVP session two, the cholera monument. Good evening, spirits. My name's John. I'm Lindsay. I mean, you no harm or disrespect in any way. We're just here to communicate with you and find proof of the afterlife. Could you step forward and tell me who's here with us? Can you tell us what year? Can you tell us what year the monument was made? I don't know why that light's doing that. Yeah. About me that said no, then go on. Is somebody messing with my light? Are you messing with my light to get my attention? Sorry, that's me vaping. Call it. Call it on EVP. Because this is this light. It's got on the side of the our lights, it's got like a rolling switch. So you roll it to dim it and brighten it. And uh, <laughs> I think somebody's playing with the light. It starts a bit bright on my face now, guys. Can't see, I've blinded myself. See, it's doing it again. My torch is fine. Just this light. Hi Neil. 
shots that's got a ATA is the untruth we provide what we capture to make your own minds you do Scott eh? that's exactly true we'll only give to you what we get and it's up to you whether you want to believe or disbelieve but uh, this light's definitely doing my nutting at minute because it's blinding me um, That's me now, guys, messing with light, trying to get it sorted. Anything? No, we didn't get rid of do very much, did we? Cause no, but you take that because that light's going on me. Right. Turn you around, guys. See, it stopped now. It's working now. Threshold come through on. Um, threshold come through on the ovulus. On ovulus, yes. No. Jeff's put, I believe, 100%. I hope I didn't say anything to offend you. I'm not here to do that. Did, did oh, I... no, Jeff, you haven't offended us, No, darling. you're not offended us. I don't know. I, I didn't we'd see rather, what... We'd rather people be honest when they're coming to... Um... Hang on. Sure. We'd rather... Hang on, let him turn it. See, it's gone again, that light, hasn't it? We'd rather... I know you can't see me, but... Um... Hold on. Nobody's offended. Um, we love it when you guys come in, and I know quite a few don't believe, some do believe. Everybody always makes sure, and they'll always, some come on and they'll say, oh, it's fake. We only, we're happy to answer any of your questions. Um, if you think it's fake, come and join us one night. Um, you're more than welcome to do that to anybody that does. Um, but apart from that, everything we get, you see. That's why we like to do it on a live rather than video because it's in real time and you guys get to see it. But no offence taken to anybody that's got an opinion, just as long as you're respectful. And this isn't aimed at you, Jeff, at all, my lovely, because I know you are. Um, but yeah, just be respectful, guys. If you don't believe, you don't believe, but that's fine. We're all entitled to an opinion. Now, do I go up this and see what you're out? I have no idea. What the? Oh. She's off, look. She's gone. It's legit. It's definitely legit. I would turn left here. Yeah, because that'll take us back into where the monument is. That's going to take us out of the park that way. Is it? Yeah. So we're going to head back towards the monument now, um, and we'll get Ren pulling that out and see what. Which way? <laughs> Keep going round. I have no idea. You've got me lost. No, it's not me. I've not got anybody lost. Look for a big tower. Well, we're lost again, guys. Who just fell over? Sam? Or I just fell over? Thought I was gonna. I have no idea where we are. It's one of my favourites. Say, oh yeah, I know where we are. That's John Blake's. It's John Blake's grave. There are the stones, Lindsay. Yeah, these have all got names on. Aqua and noise. Or initials or something written on each stone. I wonder whether these are. I don't know. Or whether these are just. I don't know if tracks. these are na names of people that died of cholera in this epidemic. Or whether the names of the people, I don't know, that's done the... Cool. So yeah, we're back at the monument again. 
There you go. Oh, it's not focusing now. Look, that's it, guys. It's massive. Not all of them have got names on Scottish. Some of them, she's off again. Look, some of them have got names on, and some of them have got like designs or patterns on and different things. So I don't know if it. I don't know if it were like a project that a school or something did. You know what I mean? Where. I don't know, where they designed, designed something on a stone. Do you know it looks like your legs at first when you're a distance away? It looks like what? Legs. <laughs> right, when you get the REM pod out, heard someone speak. I'm gone, I'm gone. You've got a me. voice. Say, go. Would you? Yes. I'm going to have to leave it with you anyway. If you turn it around yourself, you've got to turn that I light know. back on, but it's flashing on and off. Well, I'm going to try it again now we're back here. So, it's been, right. all right, all night. it's been fine that light all night, and it seems to be fine now we're back here. Uh, that were a bit weird, guys. So, guys. we don't have any names yet, but say them, and I will try and check tomorrow. Thanks, Cliff. Uh, we have one name at the moment. Yeah. Um, Do you want to put them on monument? Yeah, you can. Oh, put them on grass. No, put them on grass because it'll be too far on monument. Yeah. Right, I'm turning you around, guys, because he's setting up his flashy balls. There we go. 1807 is still coming through. Yep. All our love sending out to all our prayers, but you can't find Can you see him? each other. Um, hang on, I thought I'd turned them round. There we go. Why is it coming back on me? You pressed it twice, you're not getting it any time to turn back around. Right guys, can you see them flashy balls? Just go and, do you want to go and set them off and then we can see whether we can see them? See that REM pod? See REM pod? Yep. Yeah, we can see them. Right, my lovelies. So, we'll wait Shoulder. while they stop flashing. I'll get the dead wave out. Don't try it necrophonic. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. I didn't mean dead wave, because we've used dead wave, haven't we? <laughs> John's flashy balls, Amy. Yes, John's flashy balls. International, man. International flashy balls. <laughs> Everybody's getting them. Oh, I can't wait for yours, Amy. What are you going to call them, Amy? Can't be Amy's flashy balls, surely. Well, they could, actually. All right, Necrophonic's just warming up, I think. <laughs> right, let's sing. Is there any experience with this? Can you make them balls light up on the floor or go near the blue light and set that meter off for us? Right, guys, eyes and ears. Well, ears. <laughs> no. No, ears and that, yeah. If there's any experience with this, can you step forward? I'm Lindsay. I'm John. I mean, you know, homo disrespect. Can you step forward and make them devices on the floor? They are harmless toys, they won't hurt you. Um, could you make them light up and flash? Or could you set the alarm off where the blue light is? If you go near that blue light, the alarm will go off to say that you're there. Amaze balls. I thought I saw a light flash onto that stone there. It might have been, um, there's them kids in the woods, isn't they, just behind us. Spirits, can you step forward and communicate with us? We do mean, not mean you any harm. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us what year was Bill? <laughs> the 
gonna call him John's flashy balls. So my balls are gonna get handled in America as well. Fine. John Blake, are you with us? Can you step forward? John, could you interact with one of those objects that are on the floor just in front of the monument? Just to prove that you're here. Just so we know you're here. Could you just try and move one of the spherical objects on the floor? No. Why? Somebody heard it, so why? We're asking you why. We're asking you so we know that you're with us. So we know you're here. We're just looking for confirmation that you're here with us. That's a tram if you can hear that. Yeah, guys. yeah, you could do that, Sam. Yeah. Ignorant. Are you saying we're ignorant? Are we not listening? To you? Are we not listening to what you're saying? Steve, if you're with us, can you step forward? Can you make one of those devices on the floor? Can you affect one of them? Bam, slam. <laughs> All you have to do is just touch them gently. Okay. All you have to... Okay, two metre. Uh, oh, no, not really. It's alright, if it starts going up, we'll... Uh... Oh. How many spirits are with us, please? <laughs> Can you tell us how many people were buried on this ground? <laughs> Love you, did you hear somebody say? That was Rebecca. Yeah, Rebecca, love you. Pardon? I saw a few shades. Wait. Do you wish to communicate with us or do you wish us to leave you alone? Please move one of the two odd balls that are on the floor. Let's try and move one of them to make them more. Camera's light gone funny, they're saying. I'm gone. Is that any better? Are you tw are you twenty five? Hang on, it's just fell off. Sorry, guys. Don't know what happened there. Nothing. It, it fell off, but I don't know. It it, it's off. enough. Did you hear it's enough, Rebecca? <laughs> Laura, spell it any way you want, my lovely. I answer to it. I answer to it. We any any way spelt, darling. I understand. She's answered to worse. I have. <laughs> Spirits, can you say one of our names? Tom. Tom. Can you tell us what city we're in? Was you born in this city? What's this city famous no. for? Evening Grey. Okay, otherwise we're going to have to leave. Or are you wanting us to leave? The Saint screen's yeah. going blurry, though, but on my screen it's not going blurry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, one said. Are you saying yes to us leaving? <laughs> Don't forget things in from. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Is there, a, is there a Tom here? Tom, do you want to step forward and communicate with us, please? Can you move any of the objects that are on the floor down there? Just. Just. <laughs> 
job did you used to do when you was alive? Did you work local to this area? Dead. Dead. My child's voice said dead then. How did you die? Can you tell us what is it what caused you to die? Tell me you were just dead. Died. Was the water contaminated? Mm -hmm. Or was it bad sanitation? Well. Hello? Hello? We can hear you saying hello. Can you hear us? The bow. The bow? The bow? Yes, if you can move the bow that's on the floor. All you have to do is just touch it and it will go off. Let's try moving one of them while we're approaching that blue light. John Blake, what was your job? What did you do for a living? Anybody know who Spring Hill Jack is? Or the park ghost? Does Jack only show himself on certain go. Oh, I heard that go. You're telling us to go? George Calvert or Calvert? You here? Spirit, I heard. Lindsay, she keeps asking, How are you? Somebody's asking, How are you? But Zoom through this. Day. Day. I'm okay. Near death. If you're asking how I am, I'm okay. In a bit of pain, but I'm okay. How are you? He's fine. So George, are you here? Somebody heard you say hello? Captain. Do you want to communicate with us, George? Yeah. That's Lindsay vaping. It's not paranormal. If you don't, if you can like me, you said cholera. Did it? Did anybody hear that? If I not, thought... we'll have to list mark time for us and we'll listen that back. It was. Well, it is now. We've been on one hour, fifth, one hour fourteen, fifty between one hour fourteen and one hour fifteen. Right. I'm sure that just said cholera. It's... Is that what you died from? Did you die from cholera? <laughs> what caused the outbreak of the cholera disease? <laughs> Tegan says it definitely said cholera. Yes, it said that, John Rebecca. <laughs> Can you tell us how many people was affected by the cholera disease? We got told there was 406 people. Who, who keeps asking Lindsay? How she is? Do you want to tell us the lady? Do you want to tell us your name? Why? Just so I know who I'm communicating with. 
think you all we were you are today Somewhere it's a sewage, which should have been sanitation, sanitation, sanitation yeah. So that could have been, could have been to do with sewers and sewage. Becky, you think it's asking both of them? If you're asking me how I am, I'm fine. We've just come here to communicate with you. I did ask him if they were okay earlier. Somebody keeps saying the word, the name Emma. Scott has put 402 limbs in. I don't know if he's putting that. I said 406. Oh. I said it. If he did, it come through when he'd ask question how many. Stephen, you just heard somebody say Lindsay. Keep asking. She's ignoring me. Oh, who's ignoring you, Claire Bear? Not on here, you're not grey. What? <coughs> I'm doing readings, not to not on chat, grey. Do that on your own channel, yes. my lovely. You can feel spirits, Cliff. They feel sick. Abbott, Dean. Excuse me for reading. Hey guys. That said, dude. Hi, Dons. So I'm just trying to catch up with Jack, Sam. You heard Bert. Yes, I'm feeling George feels sick. No worries, Cliff. You. You. You are. We're here to communicate with you. Do you want to step forward and communicate with us? Do you have a message that you want to give us? No. Does the lady who keeps coming through, do you have a message for us? Let go, did she just say? No. Bye. Dude, I heard dude. George, are you still here? Yes. George? Are you going to step forward and communicate with us? Lindsay's got a question for you. Try and answer. George, can you tell us what you need or what you want? Or what message you've got for us? What? A little boy that just said why. Can you step forward and tell us your name? Balvin. Balvik. I think you're Paula. I am Paulie Sam. Were it Sam that put that? No, it were uh, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca, I am poorly, my lovely. I'm not very well at all. Um, but I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. I'm good. Who's telling lies? Are you telling us lies? Bye. Bye. Are you saying bye to us? I am. I am. You don't want to talk to us? We understand. Please come. We understand if you don't want to communicate with us, and we'll respect that. If you want us to leave, can you just say good night? Can you say good night, clear into this box? Shh. It's telling me to shush again. That's another device that tells me to shush. Sending group healing to Lindsay. Thank you, Cliff. And everybody else. Okay.
Are you no. going to pick your balls up now? Pick my balls up. You're going to pick his balls yeah. up now. They've not gone off, have they? No. Oh, I've turned camera around and I haven't put light on. Hang on, guys. That's it. That's a bit bright. I'm blinding my eyes. Two sex, two sex. There we go. Do you know, I hate this light. John does lighting. I don't do lighting. I've I'm blinded John. <laughs> Trust. Good evening, Stella. Neil. Feeling George is ill and he thinks he's still with us all. George? No. Oh, have you turned it off? Yeah, sure, George, why are you still here? George, can you tell us why you're still here? Are you listening? Said no, after you asked him, he wants to stay, say goodnight, then someone yelp. No sense in little boy, 11 years old. Hi, Dons. Is there a little boy with us that's about 11 years old? Can you step forward? You've not missed much tonight, Stella. There's not actually been much communication. Um, it's, been it's been very quiet. It's just started getting a little bit active now. Um, but yeah. Do you have a message do you want to give us before we leave? Before we move from this bit of location, have you got a message? I said shut your mouth, woman. <laughs> I wouldn't say that to Lindsay whether a ghost or not. Mm. If I said that to Lindsay, I would be a ghost. Please don't be rude. I'm not being rude to you. I'm being very respectful. So please be respectful back or we will not communicate with you. Please put what you hear. Hi. Take a screenshot, guys. If you can upload to page, hack Phyllis. Can you say a clear good night? Help. Help. What do you need help with? Who needs help? You need to know who we need to help. Uh, Rebecca, you're thinking it's talking to the woman in spirit. Sam, you think it's my baby boy. If you do think it's anything to do with you guys in no, chat, um, please listen out extra careful because you might get messages coming through that you can uh, relate to. My baby. Is somebody looking for their baby? Yes. My boy said yes. Did your baby survive the cholera? Did your baby die of the cholera and it was buried here and you've come back looking for that baby? <coughs> Who's the lady that's looking for her baby? If you're looking, if you can come towards this device in our hands, and if the child spirit can come towards the device in our hands as well, you'll meet each other. You are no longer dying. You've already passed into the spirit world. Who with? Who with? Everybody. Can you clarify what you mean by who with? The flood. Now we can chat about mm. it. It's not him, 
you're going to have to take it. I can't hold it because of my bike, guys. So I'm so sorry. I'm not in a good position. Can the lady step forward and tell us your name and who you're looking for, please? They still feel like they're sick. To the spirits that are here that died from the cholera, cholera disease, you're no longer in pain, you can let go of that pain. You can release that energy, that pain, you no longer are sick. You have passed into the spirit world. So all that pain should go away. If you're looking for your mom, we have got a lady coming through. For her child. If you both come towards the sound of our voice, maybe you'll hit, you'll find each other. Sick from the water, yeah, we think it were. We don't know what start of cholera or yeah, dirty water or sanitation. Or make sure yeah. Yeah. Right, I think we're going to take a walk down to that way. Uh, don't leave your thing in. Um, I'll put that in front. We'll uh, take a walk. Lindsay Victoria sponge cake has gone. No worries, my lovely. Shall I turn up the light on? Oh, turn this light around. Turn that. I didn't want Victoria sponge cake. I want lemon drizzle. Oh, what's that? What, have I missed something? <laughs> no. Hold on a minute, I've got to pick everything up. I know, I know, I'm waiting, I'm not gallivanting. Where are we going now anyway? Go back and show up on you, man, if you did it. So what feelings did you get, guys? Turn them back on to you. Oh. So what feelings have you been getting tonight um, about this place and where we are? I mean, to be honest, I don't think that latter bit that we've picked up on, I think there's been there. a few things coming through we've when it said cholera, but it's so been far. really, really quiet tonight. Um, I'll let you chit chat to John while I'm moving on my scooter. <laughs> I'm blinded, blinded by the myself. light. But it's a lovely place. I mean, oh, yeah, try and nice show spot. you that there is another gravestone on the grass here somewhere. No, it's laid. It's laid on grass. Sorry. See ya. We can't see that one, can we? But can't see what's written on this one. No, it's not on it, though. I can't see. I can't make out what it says. Definitely well worn. Good evening, six feet. You're sensing a Ellis or Elias. Okay, we'll go back to that bit at the beginning, show them that bit, yeah. and then we'll uh, get confident in that. Hmm? I'm going to walk back down to uh, Main Gate to show you. 
the uh, monument where it actually says that, what is it, 300 and what? 95, I think it is, 395 are buried in this ground, uh, 402 in total died. So, yeah. Oh, 339, sorry, not 95. Oh, yeah, look at them big wigs on there. I got it wrong, I thought it was 395, it's 339. Yeah. Nice. That's... I don't know why I thought 95. Oh yeah, that's that guys. This is going to be a bang step. I'm going to pass you over to Lindsay in a minute. Syllable. Syllable? It's just said cake. I'm going to don't push door anymore. I'm it's what, it said cake? Yeah. Obvious it said cake. Mm -hmm. So, just give me a minute guys. Oh. Thank you. Got it. Yep. Got it. Oh, I could turn my light down a bit. So guys, we have come back to the car. Um, unfortunately, I'm in a little bit of pain with my back and um, I don't want to push it because we've got a big thing coming up on Saturday and we're at Friday <laughs> and John's out tomorrow. So, um, yeah, John's going to go out tomorrow night for you guys. So um, that's going to go. Did someone just cough? Yeah, there's some kids just down there that have been in and out at park. But uh, <coughs> I could just eat cake. I know I could eat cake every minute. Um, can't just be me. What can't just be you, Sam? We'll have a little chit chat while we're in the car while John's getting all everything lifted in. iPad died too. Hi, Lane. You alright, my lovely? Ovulus says cake. Gosh, I couldn't make it up. I know. I don't even know where I've put Ovulus now. But uh, it did say cake. And we were talking about cake. Um, hi, Lynn. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm cutting it short tonight. And I do apologise. But we will have a little chinwag wee while we're sat in the car. Um, but, uh, yeah. Definitely feel like there's a background moan. Like someone crying in distance, really. Um... We'll have to listen back when we get home and uh, listen to it. I'll watch this back later as I miss so much. No problem, Sandy. If you do hear anything, Sandy, please pop it in comments um, because it will flash up and let me know. Uh, hang on a minute, guys. Fine. That's your Coke. Marvellous. Um, but yes... Uh, pop it in chat if you can. You get yourself limbs at ease. Do you know I'm I'm snug and warm. It's chucking everything at me. Um, I'm snug and I am I'm actually really warm tonight. I've laid up, but I've got um <laughs> just in the middle of my back. I've just got a niggle. I've got the heat patch on the bottom, and I forgot to put some magic cream on the middle of my spine. So it's like it's when I'm. Sort of like leaning forward, it's hurting a bit, like bit, little bit. So I know, but I do apologise, Gemma, because I feel awful. Um, I do try my best to come out when I can, 
Um, but no, I know I will be I, I will be all good for Saturday. Um, or as good as I can be anyway. Um, I'll just walk, I'll have to have heat, heat patches all over my back. So I'm getting the heat so it takes the pain off. <laughs> of course I get the stream to work as soon as you are leaving. Oh Amy, we're not going to go yet. We're going to have a little chin wag we and find out what your thoughts are on tonight. And uh, are you guys, what did you pick up on? Because I missed a lot because obviously... Wait, uh, I'm going to put car light on. Let me turn this one off. Um, I missed quite a bit. Uh, did anybody see a green light? John thought he saw a light earlier, but we're near a stone. But I don't know whether you guys were uh, watching that bit. The grave John found, I know who it is. More details on group after. Cheers, Scott. You know that grave? Yeah. Um, Scotty knows whose grave it was. Alright. So, uh, yeah, hang on. If I put the backlight on, turn that one off. No, that one. That one off. That, that's better. That's better. Don't apologise for being in pain. I know, surely I shouldn't, but um, Normally, I, I would have brought Lindsay back to the car and gone back in, but unfortunately, there's, a... there's quite a large gang of... They're not arm. They're armless. They're armless. Hanging. But they're not armless. But I just don't like leaving her in car locked here on her own. I'll be in there. Yeah. So we get a nice hot drink down. Yeah. I know. I wish I could get a brandy down my back on. <laughs> but yeah. The so we picked it's up on. We picked up on a few people. Um, did anybody hear? Um, what you could John? John did a, Blake. John Blake. Did anybody get that? Um, Name come through, John Blake. I know we had a George, um, also a lady come through. Um, not sure whether I only saw a little bit in that time. I felt awful, really, Stella. Um, what feelings did you get? Because I know um, a few in chat of uh, you things guys that took were a feeling, shot of a green light. I, I came know, in I late. Oh, brilliant, Rose. Can you share it? I think it was Stella, Sam, Becky. Rebecca uh, and somebody I else think we're really all feeling you. ill, starting to feel yeah, sick. Feel when sick. Are, you, are you guys all feeling okay now that we've we've come out of that area? No, I didn't. Steve, though. Yeah, thank you, Lu Luana. Um, thank you. I will. I will. I will be better. I, I just just had a bad week this week, but uh, I'm fine. John looks after me pretty well, so uh, I can't can't complain there, can I, love? Um, came in an hour late, but yeah, uh, SJ, everybody that were feeling uh, Sam. Sam, everybody who were feeling um, poorly, feeling sick. Do you feel a lot better now that we've come away from the monument? Stephen Mullen, oh, yes, Mullen, I thought I heard. Well, we can check these names, Claire. Um, there are two Johns and a George there. Fantastic, Scotty. Uh, if you've got full names, we can actually check on the history to see. I keep seeing headless bodies. Sadness for few. The last bit was fine. Now that's good. That's good, Amber. Uh, Lindsay, no pardon. Your health is more important than next blood. It's not though, Laura. <laughs> it's not, not more important. It, to me, it's not. Um, still feel a bit sick. Rebecca still feels uh, a bit no. Um, I am going to do a shutdown. I, I will close down, um, but you guys make sure that you do close down properly. And uh, those that are affected tonight, I have popped a meditation into the group chat that you can um, watch. It's just off YouTube. Uh, no, Cliff's still feeling it too. Um, Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry, guys. It must. I feel like. Do you know? I wonder whether that's no, because me, I, I were in a bit of pain before we come out, weren't I? So I can't even say that that's actually uh, triggered it off. Oh, Becky. Oh, I can't believe you missed it. I'm sorry, lady. Um, we are starting to go a little bit earlier, guys. You know, we're getting dark now earlier. Um, I heard Lee, someone. I did post the surname. No worries, my lovely. We shall have a look back through Sam and see whether we can pick it. Uh, oh, you're welcome for live stream. We love to live stream because you guys are all our investigators along with yeah, us. We find them. Um, I know pre records, obviously, they, they quite, they, they're good in, the, in their own way because obviously you can, we, we could be out investigating for four hours and you can condense that down and knock up bits out where notes happening. So, mm. you, you know, you get half an hour or 40 minutes of more happening. But yeah. you can't take part in that. 
So yeah. we like you guys. We Don't like everyone. I'm not going to say again. I see. I'm going to stop saying it. We like everyone to take part. Yeah. In the investigation with us, we find it. But I don't know. See, we, you're as much like investigators it. as what we yeah. are, um, because you you hear a lot more. Actually, you hear a lot more than what we do. Um, On the even though we're you at, do. yeah, you get a lot more coming through. So initially, if anybody asks you, you're in it. You're a paranormal investigator. Um, because ETA uh, paranormal. for ETA paranormal. <laughs> Biggest team in country. Biggest team in world this is going to be. Um, more members are connecting. It's okay, don't say sorry. I believe more members are connecting to the spirit. Hashtag famalam. They are, Cliff, they are. Um, yeah, and I, I believe that. We do get a lot of connection coming through. But yeah, I think we are going to be the biggest team. Um, we all are investigators. We all are not, paranormal Not the biggest team in amount of... No, not biggest team in... Um, biggest team out there. The... Most amount, of Most amount of pra uh, 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 paranormal, paranormal investigators. investigators. That's what we are. ETA Famalam. That's it, Amy. Um, but yeah, uh, night, Lynn, my lovely lady. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for uh, joining us again. Um, Saturday night, tomorrow night, John's out. So I will give that. I will we'll let you know there. Johnny's out tomorrow. Definitely. Um, so where we're we going live Thursday? Tomorrow night, where we're we going live? Um, I don't know. Well, I do know. He does know, but we can't say, otherwise, we'd have to kill you. No. <laughs> well, actually, um, I don't know because it could be one or two places. It could yeah. be one or two places, yeah. It all depends on the conversation we have in the morning. Um, oh. So that was speaker oh. going off, weren't it? Um, and then plenty more experiments to do, hopefully. And then Friday night, we are out again. Um, depending on your. Depending on my back John might end up going yeah, out on his own, own um, or with another team um, just because I can't I don't want to I really do, can't push myself this weekend uh, Saturday night what we are going to do is when we're live Saturday night obviously you guys know that we are in being great thanks Paul um, you know that we're in uh, old Edwardian school, school on Saturday so what we are going to do is we are going to take some cameras with us and leave them set up. set up around the place so we are going to get extra footage um which is going to be i think that's going to be quite interesting isn't it to see if anything happens we might leave one at flashy balls in a room and uh, see if one at flashy balls well, goes off balls unattended. <laughs> yvette might have a play <laughs> yvette's got her own balls coming ain't you yvette she's got her own balls <laughs> But yes, uh, wish we all could. Wish we could all come. I know, Vicky. I know. Um, unfortunately, we're not covered. To if any of you got, if any of you lot ever want to come on an investigation, you're more than welcome. Just send me a message, and uh, we can work something out for you. Um, I will say, if any of you, anybody, I mean, I don't know if, if any, if there is any other people that are in other paranormal groups out there. Yeah. If anybody does know of a company that does public liability insurance for. Paranormal investigators. Yeah. We will look at getting. Send us a message. So, because that's one thing we have got to look at: getting public liability insurance. See, if you come out with, us, you're on your own. <laughs> if you if you do hurt yourself, unfortunately, there is no insurance um, because we haven't we we've not got that. So we do need to make sure we've got it. But you are more than welcome. Friday thirteenth this week. Is it really? Oh my yeah. goodness, mate! Friday thirteenth. And I think it's a full moon as well. Oh, we've got to find a scary location for John, haven't we? There's two things. It's Friday Alps. 13th and it's something else. I'm sure it's a full moon, but it might not be. I was just getting rid of you. <laughs> um, peace, love and light, family. Thank you, Rose. Blessings to you too. Um, but yes, yeah, so we might do something special on Friday. I think we're going to have a word with another team of ours, named like E&E, &E. A A &E Paranormal, and be happy if you Yvette, e &E. I know, Yvette would be happy e &E. if we called it E&E, &E. um, but yes, we might have another word with another team and go somewhere very special on Friday night, week being 13th, you're dreading it Rebecca, don't you like Friday 13th, full moon? Yeah, it's full um, moon on Friday. Yvette's giving me thumbs up, so we're, yep, so we'll definitely be in touch with Yvette, uh, it's marked in my calendar, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this Saturday night. We're the... Friday Jaffa Cakes in. I'm getting me lime and lemon Jaffa Cakes because I'm going to sit watching on Friday because I don't know whether I'll make it out depending on location. Um, but yeah, 
Saturday night, guys. Saturday night. Don't miss this Saturday. Um, I will be putting a few more posts on that you can share, share, share for us if you don't mind. Oh, are you away? What? No, she's put, I'm up for an investigation. Okay, I'm away. Safe journey home, ladies and John. Good night. Yes, yeah, Stella. Um, who put that there were. Claire Bear. Claire Bear's up for it. Yeah, Claire Bear, you're always up for an investigation. That's fine. Cliff, I've seen. That's why I said not to go on his own for Padfoot. Yes, yeah, Stephen, you're answering Cliff. Oh, he's have a rubbish day on that day. Rebecca, this day is going to. This, this Friday 13th is going to be a better day for you, I promise. Um, well, sweet dreams, Stella. Out yeah, we'll see. John, John will make his day when he gets lost in woods. We, uh, Yvette and Alan and Sam, if Sam's out. But uh, yes, so right. Are we going to yeah. say it's good night? Yeah. So it's good night from me. Yeah, it's good night from me. <laughs> sounds, I can remember that two Ronnies. Uh, were into that. Two Ronnies did that, didn't they? Two Ronnies. It's good night from me, and it's good night from him. <laughs> You tried lemon and lime. No, Scott, I'm going to get them lemon and lime. He's going to shop for me tomorrow to get them. Hi, Chris. Hope you're all right, my lovely. Um, I do need to. I've got to try these Jaffa cakes. Hi, Linda. You're new to our family. Well, welcome because you are now a paranormal investigator for ETA Paranormal. Um, so just hashtag Famalam and welcome. No, you can't post it to us. Post what to us? Sam, I'm supposed to do it to us. <laughs> I'll send your eyes back. <laughs> but yes, but thanks for joining, guys. I hope you've had a fantastic evening. And we will be live tomorrow. Hopefully, it's going to be like I said, might be slightly earlier. Might be half about past half eight. past eight. It'll be nine o'clock, depending uh, on where Yeah, I get well, it depends really on, on where location is as well. Um, but yes, um, we are live now for the rest of the week. So. Week and weekend. Yeah, and weekend. So, uh, yes. So, thank you to Claire, Gemma, Carol. Kim, Janet, Scotty, Mike's, Cliff, Scotty and Cliff historians, um, and thank you guys so much, and everybody else joining us in chat, and uh, like I say, you are all now ETA, paranormal investigators, so you can all have that hashtag underneath your names on Facebook. <laughs> you can all put work at ETA paranormal as paranormal investigator. Yeah. <laughs> On your Facebook profiles. <laughs> no, but good night, guys. I am now going to go home yep. and lay down and relax. So take care, my lovelies, and we, we shall, shall see, see you soon. Tomorrow night. Take care. Sweet dreams, guys. Sweet dreams. Bye.